Hi everyone, it is still March 10, 2016. I apologize for the audio recording in the last video that I posted, but I posted it because I have no idea where that noise came from. I hope this audio recording is clear. Sorry to report another nuclear plant is leaking. Florida Power and Light nuclear plant canals leaking into Biscayne Bay. Study confirms. How is it that we have so many nuclear power plants leaking radioactive material all at the same time? Here, a radioactive isotope linked to water from power plant cooling canals has been found in high levels in Biscayne Bay, confirming suspicions that Turkey Point's aging canals are leaking into the nearby National Park. According to the study released Monday, in December and January, Tritium levels were up to 215 times higher than normal in ocean water, but the report that was released does not address risks to the public or marine life. Tritium is typically monitored as a tracer of nuclear power plant leaks or spills. On the same website, Florida Power and light nuclear plant canals likely violating water quality laws. ENE News there was an explosion at the Oconee nuclear power plant, one of the largest in the country here in South Carolina. The fire, the explosion, intense flames, heavy black smoke, chaos, hundreds of fire personnel called in we ask that the public stay away from the area. That is virtually all of the information that they are releasing to the public about this fire that occurred, I believe, on March 7 here in South Carolina. But on March 8 in Tennessee, the Watts Bar nuclear power plant also had an explosion, a fire in their turbine building. That too has been declared an emergency and un usual event. It's under investigation. No more information than what I have stated. I will link below to ENE News as well as this article. New information needs to be circulated. People around this nuclear power plant need to know. Again, I hope you're all having a great day.